Hi, my name is Cynthia and I'm here today to give you my top 10 tips. The topic today is going to be wills versus trusts. What's the difference? Number one, how it's executed. It has to be executed, both of them executed in a, a law office for the either the will or the trust. You can also go to a bank and have it done there. As long as you have a notary, they can sign for both of them. So they're the same in that regard. Next thing, filing. When you do have the, the trust or will done, the trust has to be filed with the local probate court. Probate means it's a particular court con considered a rather circuit court. I don't know what your state has. But uh, in, in Michigan, it's called probate court. You have to go there and file it. A trust does not have to be filed in any court or any f court system whatsoever. By the way, I am a retired lawyer. I am not giving you legal advice. This is my personal opinion. I do not have a license anymore, so I can't give legal advice. But I have more than 25 years experience in this area. And this is my personal opinion on different things. The next thing, cost. Cost of wills can be anywhere from just $100 to up to $300, according to your area. Again, in Michigan, that's what it usually runs to be. In, in Michigan, a trust can run anywhere from $1,500 to four or $5,000. Uh, I don't know what it'll be in your area again, but it can be very expensive for a trust. But there are reasons why it's expensive and it's really worth your while to look into getting a trust. Next thing, what does uh, it include? A will usually is just a will. If you want to have additional documents such as a, a, a patient advocate which determines what happens to you if you're sick in the hospital or a financial one, you got to pay extra for those usually. Most lawyers will charge you extra for those. While the trust usually includes a patient advocate and a financial document, besides some other nice things to have attached to it. So the cost might seem a lot of money, but it, it is uh, all in one and you get a lot of stuff with that. Next thing, execution. What, what is involved after you get the trust or will and you die? The person with a will has to file it with the probate court. The one with the trust can wait a few days after your, your funeral, and at that time, everything can be transferred. Everything you want given, even property, cars, whatever, it can be transferred within a week of the time you die. While a will has to go through a process, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Now, what about who's, who's going to be doing these things for you in a will? In a will, you have to set up, in Michigan, we call it a personal representative. I don't know what your state does, but you've got to set up somebody to be in charge of doing everything, and that person should follow exactly what your will says. They have to go through a court proceeding, and that usually the court makes sure that that's what happens. Now, a trust, you are the person in charge of your trust while you're alive. When you pass, you've, you've signed somebody to be your alternate. That alternate steps into your shoes, and that alternate can do anything that person wants with your trust. So you have to be very careful on who you have as your alternate trustee. And I've had cases in the past where an alternate trustee has done some bad things and uh, it was somebody that you thought you could trust. And that person took over the trust and decided things that the original trustee did not want done. So uh, it's a little dangerous to have a trust and you have to be very careful on who you assign. And when we talk about trust, I'll talk to you to you a little bit more on how you do that. Next thing, taxes. When you go through a will and you have property, real estate property, 
you got to pay taxes on the transfer of that property. Now, it can be a lot of money. If you have property that's worth $300,000 or more, you got to pay what's called taxes on that. And capital gains tax is usually uh, involved with that, and sometimes that can be as much as 15%. You have a trust, everything passes in the trust without taxes, which is a big deal, and it saves your heirs a lot of money down the road. And when we get to trust, I'll explain a lot more about what that means. But that is another reason to pay a little bit more money to have a trust to avoid taxes. And it usually goes up to more than a couple million dollars. So if you have assets more than that, you don't have to pay any taxes on that. Your heirs don't, that is. Next thing, objections. When a person has a will and has to go through the probate court, the uh, people that are named as heirs can object to what's being done in the will. And that can cause the will to take a lot longer to be done. Uh, and you've got kids maybe, they got drug problems, they can cause a lot of trouble. you got kids that are married, the spouse might object to what's happening. So there's, can, that can be a real pain. And again, it can cause the execution of the will to take a lot longer. Now, a trust, nobody can object to a trust. Nobody has ever uh, won, let's put it that way. They can try and file in circuit court and make an objection, but nobody has ever won an objection in circuit court. Trusts have been around since the day of Paul Henry, so it's a long time for nobody to be able to file anything. So if you've got people that you think might cause objections and be angry about what's going on, they have no say. The next one is, is it public? Wills, once you file with a probate court, is a public record. Anybody can go to that probate court and pull your file. It's not. It, it, anybody can pull your file and look at everything that's listed in there. And, in, in wills, you have to list the property, how much the value is, uh, because it's got to be transferred to the probate court. So anybody can find out exactly what you own. Now let's talk about a trust. Trust, nobody can ever find out because nobody, it's not filed in the probate court, it's not filed in the public place. So nobody can find out anything about that, which is another good reason to have a trust. Next thing, property transferred. Property can be transferred within days of the time you die in a trust. Property in a will can take anywhere from six months to a year before they can be transferred. So during that time, the house has to be sitting there and people have to pay rent, or I don't know, uh, mortgage payments. It can't be sold, nothing can be done to it during that time period. So that's another good reason to have a trust. Now, finalization, again, a will can take anywhere from six months to a year or more. It's according, I don't know what your state requires, but in Michigan, that's usually what it runs. And if there are objections, we're talking a couple of years by the time you're done. Next thing, a trust, can be done within days of the time that you die, which is nice. Now, what about the costs involved? Will, in filing with probate court, sometimes has a fee. Michigan can be $800. Trusts don't cost a dime to do anything because it's free and you don't have to go to court. So there are a lot of good things about a trust and a will. A will can accomplish everything you want. You don't have to spend fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars for a trust. A will can do it for you. And again, everybody should have a will or a trust. I don't care how old you are. You should have it done, and get it done as soon as possible. Again, my name is Cynthia. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, and I hope that you subscribe because every Monday I'm going to be putting in a new video in for you a lot of different other topics. Come back again. Bye now.